Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Let me just get past my wood. Wood that I would. Pass through it again today. Oh, oh let's go backwards. My area always scrapes on the tree. And I went to put it down last night and I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. I got out of the car and then I went back and I didn't have the key and I need to stand on the door sill to reach it. <coughs> Remind me to do it when I get to work, okay? Don't let me down. Now, the window's covered in sand. So let's have a quick wash of the window. How are you anyway? All right, I hope you're well. I've gone from producing no videos at all to doing almost one a day. Don't know why. Just got the enthusiasm back for it, you know? I think just a few, like, interesting things. Stuff comes in, you know? Interesting stuff. That bloke I was going on yesterday, he came in. I'm in a good mood because he's paid his money. So it's payday today, so for, you know, it's one of those rare months where we've got enough money to pay the bills. So I'm in a good mood. I can pay the wages without and still keep smiling, you know. And uh, what else? Well, well, until I get his lab bill in. <laughs> Next month I'll be suicidal because I won't have enough money and I'll have his big lab bill. So, um, yeah, so uh, I posted the, uh, although I did the work after I did the video. Why have you slowed down in exactly the worst place? <laughs> but I put the uh, x-rays up so you can see what, how far we are. Uh, there was some, you know, I mean, they're not exactly the most difficult route treatments in the world. But I was quite pleased with them. They all, uh, you know, when you get one of them correct, you're happy, aren't you? When you get four of them correct, you're uh, got a tiny little car. You don't have to tuck in in that little car. That little car will go past anything on this road. Perhaps it's new. Anyway, and he's a lovely bloke as well. He's ex-forces and we had a good little chat. We are talking about my... He, he worked in the Air Force and my dad was in the Navy. We were talking about a thing called Pusser's Rum which the Navy used to give a, well, you know, a shot to everybody until 1970. They, uh, they used this too. There's the blue label and the, and the charcoal, they charcoal brewers, gunpowder, gunpowder. That's it. Blue label and char and gunpowder. And the gunpowder was what they used to give out. And, but the blue label is apparently nicer to drink because it's only 40% proof. Whereas the, uh, the gunpowder is 56% proof, so. I mean, I've never been a big fan of rum, myself personally. Uh, apparently it's quite nice with Coke, but why, uh, all, if you read the description about rum, it's all that, it's got all these flavors of aniseed and, you know, whatever in it. And then to stick it in a Coke, sort of tend to sort of, um, you know, Commoditise it a bit. Anyway, what I was going to talk, I was going to give you an update on that bloke, that idiot, who uh, made an appointment and then got sick and cancelled it at the last minute. Well, he didn't care, he didn't really, he just really, he was like half an hour away from not turning up, you know. His partner rang in and said he's not coming in. As though they expect us to rebook it at 30 minutes notice and save him the money. So, but he didn't save the money, so he lost his 78 pounds that he paid for the checkup. But he didn't accept that because he's a part, he's an entitled millennial. So uh, he decided he was going to get his 78. Somebody owed him his 78 pound back from his mistake. His uh, mistake in booking the appointment. His mistake in not uh, reading the terms and conditions so he's put in a dispute with his card company over the charge 
I've and their his card company has contacted my merchant services company, which is Square, uh, which is an American firm. I re really recommend them. A lot of you won't use them because they're like a quarter of a percent more than what you're paying, and that's and so you won't use them. You'll 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 look, you won't look at the functionality and the ease of use, the high uh, standard of the customer service, etc. etc. You're just like oh no. It's totally random firm rang me up and offered me one tenth of one percent less so i've gone with them you know and i've got a card machine and that's that's all i do our uh, back end on square does so much more than just take the money i mean it would probably make the appointments if we asked it to it certainly does so uh, clocking in and out on the staff if you wanted to you know it integrates with an online shop if you want to sell vouchers or services online and anyway that's that's not the point the point is um square wrote to me and said you know we've had this charge back claim so you have to go through an online questionnaire what you know was it for a product or a service at the time of payment had the service been provided no well <clears throat> i mean obviously you do have trouble trying to shoehorn in the fact that this was for a service the bloke bought and then never never used therefore you know and they'll say well, well was the service ever provided and that was the most difficult question because uh, he never came in and so uh, was the service ever provided it was a bit of a loaded question because um, the service was not the checkup the service was the appointment and the appointment was provided and and uh, he didn't come in for it and so that's what he's done his money on the checkup appointment not the actual checkup you know i mean if you buy a cinema ticket and you then don't turn up to see the film was the service provided yeah the answer is that a seat was reserved for you in a particular cinema at, at, on a day at a time that was the service yeah same with um airfares same with hotels you know you don't book a hotel room and then just not turn up and, and say that the service wasn't provided. Uh, it was. So, so that's, you have to sort of, so you have to say, was the service provided after payment was made? And the answer to that is yes. Okay, and now what they do is they then say, well, uh, can you send us some evidence of a contract that existed between the two of you. So I was able to send them uh, both uh, our terms and conditions from the website, but also um, uh, an email that he was sent when he made the appointment saying that he would be charged if he cancelled at late uh, notice or didn't turn up. So I think we're pretty well covered from that point of view. Uh, and also I sent them like a um, print out of the day book for the day he was due in showing that there was a gap in the book at 10 30 when he was due because I mean he could argue that we were able to mitigate our loss by rebooking um, although that was not um, it wasn't possible and it was a bit complicated because you know when he he'd not he rang up and said he was sick and he wanted to rebook we just said yeah fine and we rebooked him it was only when he got the second invoice that he decided to complain. And so obviously there, you have to make sure that there's no confusion over his first appointment, which was on the 19th, which he didn't turn up to, and, and his second appointment, which was on the 24th. And if you do mix the two up and make a mistake, then, you know, he's gonna, the court is gonna say, well, you, even you don't know what happened, you know what I mean? You, you're. Uh, they tend to, uh, my experience with courts, I mean, I'm not I'm talking about chargebacks, I'm talking about where we've taken patients to court for money for perfectly good grounds that they've had and they haven't, they haven't paid, um, is that the courts tend to side with the patient. If the patient says, no, I wasn't happy, they look at the unhappy patient on the one hand, and they look at the, in their mind, they're very wealthy, dentist on the other on the other side and they say no dentist can afford to take the hit you know 
So we don't expect to win in court. We, we always, uh, we never go to court unless we've got, we know we're in the right, but we never expect to win. <coughs> Let's say you pull out. That's it, go on, you can do it. Oh, what's this? Now someone's waiting to pull in. Look at this. Three lorries stacked up, obscuring the carriageway. Oh, there's about six of them all queuing up there. All trying to get in. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to have a look. I had a look. Um, well, first of all, let me say, <coughs> I went home an hour late that day. And, you know, we, we this is a frivolous and vexatious complaint to use the legal term um, basically this guy he's not entitled to the money but he's just decided that he can cause me 78 pounds worth of nuisance um, I mean I guess I think he actually probably is stupid enough to think that he's he, that he's got these uh, recourse but uh, in the meantime what he's done is he has put in place the second half of his threat which was to review bombers on Google you know to do these negative reviews and so sure enough the day after I received this uh, charge back and dealt with it um, I got a one-star review on Google now I got about 79 reviews on Google, and we've got an average of 4.5, which I would say is about as good as you can get on Google. You can't, unless you've got like one review of five star, then you'll be on five stars. But once you get over about 10 or 12 reviews, you're gonna go down to four point something. And what I was, what I was in the middle of almost getting to, but not quite, was that or you know you might say well look you know you spent an hour you've got all this stress uh to deal with this thing for 78 quid just not not necessarily refunding the 78 pounds because you believe he's due to have it back but just as the lawyers would say on a sort of just on the basis of expediency i mean bearing in mind that my indemnifiers paid a woman eight thousand pounds because we failed to spot some decay Although we did pick it up at a subsequent checkup, they 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 paid eight thousand pounds because they didn't want to pay twenty thousand pounds to get an expert witness and go to court over it. So for them, they saved twelve thousand quid. For me, I don't the the, the mass of it is not quite like that for me. By which I mean, I don't have a greater expense that I'm trying to avoid. It's not like to file a defence to his charge bank, I have to pay £200. And it's cheaper for me to pay the 78 My maths doesn't work like that. All I've got to do is invest some of my time in responding to it. And also the review. And so you could still say, well, all right, Derek, you know, you're, this is an opportunity cost. You know, you've lost, but your time is probably worth £300 an hour. So even half an hour is not a quarter of an hour is not not worth it and um i think what you have to do is you have to look at it in the wider context because we we have a policy of charging people if they just don't turn up for appointments and it's a very successful uh, policy and i would go to say that if this chargeback is refused then uh it's pretty much bulletproof you know it's going to be the equivalent of the massy prenup but if the chargeback succeeds then we're going to have to reconsider it and harden it up a bit and i'm going to reconsider it and harden it up a bit anyway because i'm when i was doing this i had to think well what exactly was he told what what was what did he know how could he have known that he was going to have to pay twice because i think i'm fairly genuinely think they didn't realize that now, whether he, he should have realized that, in my opinion, 100% he should have done, 
but 100% he didn't, and that's because <coughs> some people are have to be treated like children and have everything explained to them. So you know, and you send them, you can send them stuff, you can send them SMSs, you can send them emails, you can send them quotes with your terms and conditions. You can write a decent website, and they will not read any of it. They will just carry on thinking that you work in the way that every other dentist they've ever been to works. So, if we if we um, start refunding money because it's expedient to do so, then what happens is that a certain class of people is going to then start failing appointments. In other words, the, the problem won't be restricted to him, it will leak, it will spread. Um, and that's why I always tell people to vote, because people go along and you represent a class of people. You may not think you do, but you do. You represent a class of people. And for example, if you're thinking of voting green at the election, as one of my nurses was, and she was saying, oh, you know, but I don't know whether it's going to make any difference if I go and vote green and I said to her like if you go and vote green I guarantee a load of other people will go and vote green people like you but I said if you don't go and vote green then I can guarantee a lot of people like you won't bother <laughs> so I said your vote is actually better you know it's more important than you think because it's representative it's a signal of what everybody like you is probably going to do so you should just, uh, you know, get yourself down the old voting booth. And I think it's the same with these people. You know, you're, if you uh, fail to take action to recover money, then what will happen is every person who's like the person, the first person you give in to, will then do the same thing. They'll put through a chargeback in we have to try and stem the dike, you know, put the old finger in the dike. So, anyway, he's, his attempt to try and review bomb me was comical, to be quite honest. I mean, it was a two sentence review that, you know, was terrible, uh, in that it was. It was like it basically it said, I could almost repeat it verbatim. It said, I went to see the dentist Derek for a simple extraction. It didn't get me numb properly, it was excruciating. That place is so expensive, I'm not going back there again. You know, I mean, really, really unimaginative, unimaginative, and so obviously fake. And from an account with zero reviews and zero everything you know just something 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 d d d some made up name and so uh, anyway oh hello so i did i did what i've i think i've recommended in the past which is i've i've said to people um you must reply to these things. So I, I spent until six o'clock the night before replying to the chargeback, and then I spent, and then, and then, eight o'clock in the morning I wake up to find this um, uh, this review, and so immediately I jumped out of bed, went downstairs, and started drafting a reply because I don't want anyone to see that complaint without seeing my reply. And the great thing about Google is you get four thousand characters to reply, and that's that is like you know a lot of money a lot of money it's a lot of words <laughs> so, so i drafted this reply it must have been about i don't know 500 words long and i'll post uh, his complaint and the reply uh on the video or under the under in the link or something so you can read it you know but basically uh you know i've put down that I know I know I know about this complaint that always works you know because the last time I did a long reply again the woman identified herself 
And so I did say, look, I know about this complaint. Um, and this is, this, is, this is the actual detail of it. It's nothing to do with a patient who came in for an extraction, who was in agony. It's a patient who um, didn't even come to the surgery, but is annoyed because they got sick and cancelled at the last minute and lost their deposit. <coughs> and people, because we like a story, you know, we are storytelling monkeys, they are, <coughs> they'll read this, you know, and they'll think, oh, that's, you know, I see that. <coughs> I follow that narrative. I can see how that might have resulted in the complaint, in this stupid complaint, you know. So, oh, oh dear, look at those poor hedges. So anyway, and uh, and also I used his name in it, not his full name. But I used his first name because first of all, it reinforces uh, the fact that um, the, 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 that I know what I'm talking about, you know. Then secondly, that it lets him know that he's not going to be able to do this anonymously. Anything that comes up like this is going to be pinned on him, even if it's not him. So it's going to be, although it is him. But I mean, we can't prove it's him. But I mean, you know, chargeback comes like Wednesday night. Fake review comes in Thursday morning. Both things he told me on the phone that he's going to do. So uh, I think it's circumstantial, but it's pretty conclusive. Uh, anyway, so uh, as I say, I'll post it all up and you can follow it all. And I'll let you know how the chargeback goes. But it's literally, it's going to be three months before that gets resolved. So um, that, that that's the thing for the future. Anyway, it's going to be a lovely day today. I hope you're enjoying it as well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.